Place your drain pan under your transmission and remove the 6 mm Allen fluid drain plug as indicated by the green arrow. Allow the fluid to drain completely. Do not discard the fluid. You will have to measure the amount that came out of the transmission later. This will help with refilling the transmission with the correct amount of fluid. If you are only draining and filling the fluid, skip the next steps. You will not have to remove the transmission oil pan. Once the fluid is completely drained, remove the transmission pan mounting fasteners. There are 17 10 mm fasteners. The green arrow points to the dotted area of the fasteners. Before loosening these fasteners, clean all the dirt and debris from around the transmission pan. Then remove the transmission pan from the transmission, pull the old gasket off the transmission, and discard. This diagram shows the components involved in a transmission fluid service on an all-wheel drive model. To remove the strainer, pull the strainer down. Be sure the strainer O-ring comes out with it. If not, remove the O-ring from the transmission. Rear wheel drive models utilize a plastic oil pan that the strainer is built into, and you will be replacing the entire pan. Install a new strainer in reverse order of removal, then install the transmission pan and tighten fasteners. The gasket has two plastic tabs that snap into the transmission pan to secure it in place during tightening. Be sure to align these plastic tabs correctly. Continue here if you are only performing a drain and fill. Measure the amount of fluid you drain from your transmission. Remove the 16 mm fill plug. The green arrow points to the fill plug location. Fill the transmission with the same amount of fluid that you drained from it. This photo shows the fill plug on a GA6L45R transmission. On other models, the fill plug is located on the side of the transmission. Start the engine, then apply the parking brake. Hold your foot on the brake pedal and shift the transmission through all the gears. This will circulate the transmission fluid. Place the transmission selector in park, then remove the fill plug. Monitor the transmission as it reaches a temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You can check this with an infrared temperature gauge. If a small stream of fluid runs out of the fill plug, the fluid level is correct. If no fluid runs out, add oil until it starts to run out. Reinstall the fill plug and tighten completely. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.